What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're talking about pricing and specifically how much do I charge to repaint these concrete wheel stops. But before we get into that, I just want to say thank you to everyone who has been subscribing and supporting the content. I really do appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Thank you for all the support that we've been receiving. If you find this type of content valuable, please leave a comment down in the comment section below because what that does is helps me identify that this type of content is valuable for you guys and then I'll start producing more and more content just like this video. Also, don't forget we're doing a giveaway whenever we get to 500 subscribers. We're going to be giving away a Graco spray gun that's going to come with a hose, a tip guard, a spray tip, an entire box that's like a $400 value. We're going to be giving it away for free. So whenever we get to 500 subscribers, I'm going to notify you guys of how you can enter into the giveaway. All right. Now let's talk about these wheel stops. There are several things to take into consideration as it pertains to painting these wheel stops. Number one, you're always going to want to make sure that you get an accurate count. You want to make sure that you know for sure how many of these things you're going to have to be painting because you don't want to miscalculate it and then not get enough paint and then have to have to make several trips back and forth to the paint store. That's first of all. Second of all, you want to make sure that you understand how labor intensified it's going to be to be able to spray these things. Everybody does things differently. Some people tape around the edges and then spray the lines. I do these things a lot different than some people because I don't want to risk any overspray at all. So I lift them up. I lift these things up as you see right here and I'm putting these things on a painter's blanket because I don't want to risk any overspray at all. Because yes, this might be time consuming, but I can ensure that I'm giving my customer the best product possible and I'm not risking any overspray. So it's not just charging, how much is am I gonna charge to paint this thing? It's also, how much am I gonna charge to pick this thing up, to move this thing, to paint this thing? Because I can promise you, after you've moved about 50 of these to about 100, at the end of the day, you're gonna be exhausted, okay? So make sure that you're adding this into your price calculations, the labor and the amount of time it's going to take you to move them, if you move them. If you just tape around them, that's cool. That's your personal preference. I don't do that. I like to move them because I don't want to risk any overspray at all. Now, let's talk about pricing. When we're painting these things, there are several things that you need to be aware of, okay? Typically, these are about six to seven foot long, about six to nine inches wide, and about four to five inches high. So what does that mean? That means that we have a length, we have a width and we have a height. Whenever we're doing a price calculation, as it pertains to just a standard four inch line, depending upon how much we're charging, this is gonna get us our calculation. So if we're charging 80 cents per linear foot, that is $14.40 per line, then that means we're going to have to adjust our calculations for the different surfaces on this parking block, i.e. the length, the width, and the height. I'm just going to tell you how I charge. I'm not gonna tell you how you should charge. I'm just going to tell you how I charge and what's going through my mind as I'm charging these things, okay? I chalk these things up as a standard line length. That means I'm charging, if I do 40 cents per linear foot, I'm charging each surface of this parking block for $7, okay? Depending upon how many wheel stops it is that I'm spraying. If I'm spraying uh, 100, I'm gonna probably drop it down to about $7 each surface, length, width, and the height. So I'm essentially charging, depending upon how many blocks, 21 to $25 per wheel stop, okay? Your price and your market is going to be totally different. But if you're painting 10 wheel stops, charge $25 to $30, okay? If you're painting five wheel stops, charge more than that. You know what I'm saying? It's all it depends upon personal preference. I'm just telling you guys that I charge about $21 to $25 per wheel stop 
not including the time it takes for me to move them. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like the video, share the video, and we will see you in the next one. All right, out.